Good morning chaps, half past six in the morning and I've come out here to pick up fucking dog shit. Again, that's two in two minutes. Good morning gentlemen. Oh, it's worth it sometimes, isn't it? I set foot in the park at 6.30 this morning. I've had a good walk around. And as you can see over there, the sun is about to come over the horizon. But look at this for a view. The river is still a little bit high, and or the lake, which feeds into the river, and vice versa. So I still can't walk over the ford. Not with these boots on anyway. The old Uvex. They're a good brand, if not a little expensive. But doesn't it look great? And in front of us, the early signs of spring. We're starting to get the first bit of blossom on the trees. And today's notably warmer. It's about 10 degrees already. Today is going to be a good day. Because I'm off out on the lash. Oh yes I am. So let's just grab a shot of the weir. And uh, the coffee man over there is still not open. Oh, really it's idyllic. Even the dogs love it. Of course they do. So let's just have a look at this depth marker and see exactly where we are. Okay, yeah. So we're still at about plus 40 millimetres, uh, centimetres rather. So we want to ideally be down to about plus two max before I can walk through that ford. Anyway, I'm just gonna go and do the usual, get rid of the bag of uh, <laughs> hand warming material, and then we're gonna march back up the hill to the car. But I'll see you later. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome along to the vlog. This morning, I am finishing off, finally, the tiling on the front of the pub. Now I started this last year and obviously everything that came along um, Covid, then of course reopening and then making another beer uh, Kind of the talent at the front of the pub got pushed way to the back of the agenda and it was 95% complete so not many people noticed it wasn't completed but I've got a few cuts to put in hence what I'm doing with the glass cutter now for these tiles and I've also got to finish off the grout now the windows could do with replacing, as could the doors, but that's a big ask for anybody in business at the moment, including the landlord. So as summer is on the way, I don't think it's going to be such an issue with heat, but for next year it will it would be really nice to have some double glazing in there but next year I suppose we'll know a little bit better where we are financially and uh, I'm going to try and reach out and see if we can buy the building fail that I'll see if I can get them to put new doors and windows in fail that I'll offer to install them so don't tell him I said that and if they refuse point blank, then I don't know what we're going to do because these windows are a bit cold during the winter. 
Let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what we're up to. So I've just made some cuts on these with a glass cutter to cut down these little sections here because they are to go on this little bit of wall just there. As you can see we've kind of got a, uh, a full tile then a tiny little sliver. And yeah this is one of the reasons why I, of course I wanted to get these window frames replaced. They're not looking very good at all. So I can patch it up and repair it but still that's it's not solving the issue of cold single glazed glass. You can see we've finished most of the tiles off, a little patch to do there. And we've got, yeah, did this section yesterday and we've got a little bit of grout in to do. But up to now, I think I'm just gonna finish off breaking off these tiles and get them on the wall. And then we'll come back and get a few shots of the finished article. Didn't get any video finishing it off. But as you can see, it's distinctly blacker. But apart from that little bit under there where I've got a little support strip, that needs sorting out at some point. But needs grouting, and then that is it. Done.